Now for this last part, taking 1.45 as the first approximation to alpha, we've got to use newton raphson's method once to find alpha to three decimal places. And we know that alpha already lies in this interval between 1.425 and 1.45. And that we discovered that from the first part of the uh, question. So how are we going to do this? Well, what is Newton's Raphson's method? Well, as a quick reminder, it's this particular formula here that if we want to work out an approximation, we use the previous approximation, xn minus f of xn, all divided by f dash of xn. So if we take our first approximation, let's call it x1, then as 1.45, using this particular formula, we need to first of all establish what f dash x of, um, what f dash x is. So we've got f of x up here. So if we were to just rewrite that down, so we've got f of x equals x cubed. We can change this to minus 7x to the power minus 1 plus 2. So if we differentiate this, f dash of x is going to equal 3x squared plus 7x to the minus 2 or 7 over x squared. And the 2 obviously differentiates to 0. So all we now need to do to get x2 is to say that therefore x2 equals x1. So that's 1.45 minus and then f of 1.45 is going to be 1.45 all cubed minus 7 divided by 1.45 plus 2 and then that's all divided by f dash of 1.45 which is going to be 3 times 1.45 squared plus 7 over 1.45 squared and if you work that out what you end up with is 1.42706 and so on, which when rounded to three decimal places is going to equal 1.427 to 3 dp. And there you have it.